Hello everyone, hope you all are well. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the original Parrot battery, the 2700 milliamp Parrot battery, and a Jiffy is it 3200 milliamp battery. And what I want to do is show you the internals of the batteries and the conditions of the cells after about six, uh, seven months of use. And I've tried to use them as even as possible, um, use them both at the same time on flight, one after the other, and then charge them up so I have an even cycle uh, between them, just, just to have a comparison. So on the right we have the GFA battery, and on the left we have the original Parrot battery. Um, the Jiffy battery is starting to show a bit of swelling. Um, and you can see the condition of the original Parrot battery is um, somewhat more square and less bubbly than the Jiffy battery. So the conditions of the cells for the Jiffy battery after about six months of use and uh, quite a lot of charge cycles. I wouldn't say it's bad, it's actually not too bad for the price of the GP batteries, they're almost half the price of the original power batteries. Uh, but my concern is the swelling, so over time, I mean the swelling is just only going to get worse. And with swelling comes the loss of reliability. So keep that in mind when buying the cheaper GP batteries. Now we're going to dismantle them even more and take a look at their PCBs. Alright, now let's take a closer look at the PCBs on both the Jiffy battery and the Parrot battery. The uh, original Parrot battery is on the left, and as you can see it's got a very beautiful PCB. And on the right hand side you have the Jiffy battery with a blank circuit board. There's absolutely no... Um, yeah, there's, there's basically nothing on it. Uh, yeah, there's nothing on it, it's just all tracks. So um, you can see the huge difference in electronics from the Parrot original battery, which is on the left, and the uh, Jiffy battery on the right hand side. This is, um, this is very scary for me, and uh, I, I'm just going to advise people that use the Jiffy batteries use a balanced charger and a charger that can do a target charge for cell target charging. I don't use balanced chargers, I've never had a need for them, but that is my advice uh, for you if you're using the GFA batteries. If you're using the Parrot batteries, you have absolutely no problems with them with the original charger because the PCB on the original Parrot batteries were designed to sort of mate with the uh, Parrot chargers. Okay, now that we are done with that, I want to do something else, which is take the PCB or the blank uh, board off the GFA battery and put it on a set of um, OEM cells from a OEM Parrot battery and do a comparison of flight time and compare the graphs of the battery drain and see if the PCBs actually have a difference with the predictive nature of the uh, battery readings that we are getting with FreeFlight Pro and the drone. So I just want to see if it makes a difference. If it doesn't or if it does, I, I won't know. So this is the next thing I'm going to do and I'm going to post that video up most probably in a day or two when I get to fly the drone with both the batteries. Until next time, 
Fly safe and God bless.